Hello and welcome to Frank's School. I'm still trying to uh, get you to love German grammar. This is my ninth day at it. And I'm going on now with the story of uh, the Froschkönig. Uh, and this is mid-sentence. Now in English, this is old, uh, this is old German. I mean the story is I, at least 150 years old, the, the, these words. Um, and, and I'm not sure if it's written the same way now. A, a lot of it is not, I think. For example, this, well, in English, for example, this would certainly be a new sentence. You wouldn't have a colon there. Uh, this would be a start of a new sentence. But another thing I want to say is I made a mistake uh, yesterday uh, that Linden, the N should not have been there. And once again, I have a viewer to thank for that. I, I think I know why I did it. It was my mistake. I copied it wrong. That N should not have been there. It's because in English, the name of the tree is a linden tree, linden, and I think I was thinking like that. In German, it's linde, and that N w would not have been there, so sorry about that. I'll make other mistakes. I'm going to try to be careful. Uh, okay, well, uh, what I, what's the next sentence in the story goes like this. Wenn, wenn nun der Tag sehr heiß war, so ging das Königskind hinaus in den Wald, und setzte sich an den Rand des kühlen Brunnens. Um, let me translate it. <clears throat> if or when now uh, the day very hot was, <laughs> see, uh, so went the uh, king's child there out into the wood and set herself at the edge or rim of the cool uh, well or fountain. Well, uh, this is fun. <laughs> First of all, then, now that's a conjunction, that's a subordinating conjunction. And, and why the, this is structured the way it is with the verb at the end is because it's a subordinate clause. Uh, the main clause here is that the king's kid, the king's child, went. Uh, the king, the king's child went. There, there, if you were diagramming it, there's the main clause. Well, then looks so much like our English word when that it's easy to confuse the two. They're not the same. Uh, <clears throat> for example, then if it's asking a question, well then it's wann in German. I've underlined the German, and sometimes. It, it, Als would be as late. I think before I go to Germany, within the next week, I'm going to look at some of this stuff and try to sort this out because there's so much overlapping. Then can mean if, but but sometimes English if is is the word ob in in, in German. Uh, so there's overlapping here. Uh, I think you do best to imagine it to mean if. That would be the safest thing I think to do uh, at first. So if nun is uh, it's an interjection, uh, you you just can put it in. It means now, but we it, it's used a little bit like we would use the word well. Well, if the day was hot, nun. Uh, it, it, it's not necessary. It's an interjection. You take it right out. It doesn't affect the grammar. Uh, the day now guten Tag. You probably know that already, uh, and you maybe know that that is German. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's non that it's masculine is what I want to say. It's masculine. Uh, der Tag, very hot was. There would be a new adjective. Oh, and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't have to change. Oh, I don't know if now's the time to tell you that. When an adjective is a is a predicate adjective. If it's separated from its noun by the verb, the linking verb, then it doesn't have to agree with it. I'll, sh I'll have a better example later to show you that. Well, all right, there's the, inter uh, the subordinate clause. So went, and see, it's got to be in that second position uh, because it, we've been told when, so now the verb's got to come before the subject. So went the king's child and now it was a little girl, but child is neuter, das Kind, Königskind, hinaus. Now this 
is one of the things I, I really want to get that under control. I need to get that under control for my uh, purposes. It's a lot like the older English version of thither or uh, hence, go hence, go thither. Uh, when there's, it's not just there, it's there too. <laughs> Well, it's still there in German. It's, it's gone from English. We just say there. Uh, so there's motion. There, out. Into den Wald. Now see, this is den. This is not a dative case. This is accusative case. Because there's motion toward it. Uh, into uh, the wood. And uh, the king's kid set herself. Now here's, here's our, I think this is our first... Uh, a, re a reflexive pronoun. Set. Now, now setzen is the verb. Setzen to to set, not to sit. <laughs> that would be sitzen. Uh, this is she set herself. And in English, that's regarded as a mistake in standard English to say set down. No, you have to say sit down, not set down. You you set something. But she set herself. She set herself. At the edge, now, and, and the reflexive pronouns, I'll deal with the pronouns collectively here within a week probably. At the uh, edge, now here we've got the accusative case. Here's, here's another preposition, at. We're, we're getting prepositions here. We've got uh, aus, out, that's a preposition. Uh, and here we've got another one. Here, here's a preposition which we already had. At the rim or the edge, der Rand, uh, and I guess we know that it's masculine from, from that. Des kühlen Brunnens, of the cool well. Now, there the noun has reflected, uh, inflected, because it's possessive. Uh, the, uh, the, it, 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 ha it possesses the, the rim, it's the rim of the, the uh, well. Uh, gehen, uh, there, there's the verb, uh, so she went, this is the past tense, uh, the to go is gehen, and that's a bit of a compli, there's stuff to be said about that verb, of course. Uh, all right, uh, I guess that's it uh, for today, uh, I'm going bit by bit by bit, uh, see you next time.